This is a brief overview of how to take a denture like this and convert it into a fixed provisional restoration on implants without destroying the occlusal anatomy and the prosthesis in the, in the process. We use separable fastener technology in order to accomplish this. Using a separable fastener, we attach a tie base to a multi-unit in the patient's mouth. And once all the tie bases are placed on the multi-units, we inject bite registration material into the denture and then we'll cover that bite registration material with Teflon tape. The Teflon tape has two main advantages. The first is it makes it so that the bite registration material won't get stuck onto the tie bases. And the second is that it allows us to remove the prosthesis, the denture, before the bite registration material sets up. So here we just seat it in the mouth, give it some pressure, and now we can remove it even though the material hasn't set up. We can see where, the, where there's some burn through. We need to uh, alleviate that. So we'll set it to the side, let that material set up. Meanwhile, we'll use some resin, some cool down to block out the sutures. And now drill into that bite registration material and alleviate the burn through. Here you've seen all that we had to do to modify the denture, very minimal inject some acrylic into the denture, and now inject it in around the tie bases in the patient's mouth, and then we'll seat the denture and allow the acrylic to set completely. Once the acrylic is set, we can just pop the denture off, and then we attach the protective caps onto the threaded posts that are still in the multi-unit abutments. And those will just protect the multi-units from the tissue collapsing while we're in the laboratory. And then we just re relieve and remove some of the cool down that was stuck in the denture, and then we're going to cut the flanges off. Then we're also going to cut the pallet out, and then we'll start with our bulk reduction with an acrylic burr. Once we finish the bulk reduction, we'll go ahead and just start with our initial polish. And then we're going to add acrylic to the intaglio surface to establish hygienic contours. Once that acrylic is set, we can create a pilot hole through the bottom of the tie base through to the occlusal surface of the prosthesis. And we do this very methodically and just a little bit at a time so that we don't create heat and pop the tie base out. So now that we've got a pilot hole, we're going to go down with the guided expander drill and that expands the screw axis hole to the size of the prosthetic screw, to the diameter of the prosthetic screw. And then we use the clearance drill on the pin vise to remove the residual peak cap of the separable fastener. And then we take it to the polishing wheel and polish it ready for delivery to the patient. Here you see that we didn't have to destroy the occlusal anatomy in our pickup procedure. So then we remove the plastic protective caps, and that's unscrewing the threaded post that remained in the multi-unit. And now we're going to just screw the prosthesis down and plug it up with whatever material you prefer. I use PVS. And then you bond the lower prosthesis in the ideal occlusion, and then rotate the patient into the lower prosthesis. And then repeat the same laboratory procedures in preparation for delivery to the patient. And here you can see this is without any occlusal adjustments because the pickup was done in a way where the bite was already established. And so now we have a pro provisional restoration or a set of provisional restorations that resemble what I expect back from the laboratory. And this was all made possible through separable fastener technology developed by Smart Denture Conversions. Stop by smartdentureconversions.com to pick up your kit today.